To talk about this, I'm joined tonight by Patrick Zinsborg. He's a member of the German Parliament for the Christian Democrat Party. That is, that's the Conservative Party of Chancellor Angela Merkel. Mr. Zinsborg, it's good to see you again. I, I want to talk about your Conservatives in just a moment, but I have to start by asking you, when you look at how smoothly the Greens have chosen their Chancellor candidate, you as a Conservative, doesn't it make you somewhat jealous? Uh, maybe a bit jealous, but on the other side, the Greens deciding without the party members. They made a decision just in closed shops and rooms behind the party members. So in the end, I'm not sure if this unity will stay a long time. Well, I mean, that's true. That's, you're talking about the inner workings of the party. But on the outside, it's been incredibly smooth for the Greens. Is it embarrassing for the Conservatives? We are not in a good situation, that's quite true. We are struggling about the person who will be our leader in the candidacy for our chancellery. So, of course, a little bit jealous. But on the other side, the Greens has to prove this unity in the party. And I don't think this unity will stay long when we come into the issues of the party campaign. So let's see who will be better in the end. You know, one could say that the conservative would-be candidates, Armin Laschet and Markus Söder, they are the AstraZeneca vaccines of this campaign, whereas Annalena Baerbock is the BioNTech-Pfizer-Moderna candidates. Which shot, Mr. Zinsburg, which shot would you choose? We are choosing both at this time, and that doesn't mean we will see a green and conservative coalition in the end. I think that we need both, and in the end, maybe AstraZeneca will make the decision. Well, who do you want to see as the chancellor candidate? I think Armin Laschet is representing the bigger sister of the two parties. And so I think it's, uh, in the end, a, a struggle that will be made by Armin Laschet. The decision is taking a long time. This makes a lot of party members unsatisfied. We will involve and include the district leaders of the conservative parties. Um, so they will give a voting also, as it seems right now. So it's a long time struggle, but in the end, I think it will be Armin Laschet. Mr. Sinsburg, is there any resolution to this dispute between Armin Laschet and Markus Zoda in which Mr. Laschet doesn't lose a great deal of authority? I mean, he is the leader of the CDU, your party. That's true. And I think um, it's a question that you should ask uh, Markus Zoda. He told us that he will accept a decision of the CDU. Then he changed his mind. He's looking to the opinion polls. Opinion polls are changing. Now he said again he will accept a decision of the CDU. The CDU has made a clear decision. We have a discussion now that some members of the CDU are a little bit skeptic. But in the end, I think it will be Armin Laschet and Markus Söder. And the CSU has to accept that. If Mr. Laschet, if he does not win here and become the chancellor candidate. Um, can he stay on as party leader, as CDU party leader? I think he will stay on in this situation. And he will, of course, stay on as uh, leader of the government in North Rhine-Westphalia. He's making such a good job there. And so I think that all will be inside the discussion right now. And in the end, I think we will see that Armin Laschet will be the candidate for chancellery for the Conservative Party. You and I, we have spoken before about a man by the name of Friedrich Merz as a possible chancellor candidate. He came close to being elected head of the conservative CDU party, but he didn't win, but he came close. And now there are calls for him again to be the chancellor candidate. How realistic is that hope? I think this decision will be made between Markus Söder from the Bavarian CSU and Armin Laschet from the CDU. So I think it's just between these two possible candidates. And I think uh, the decision will be made very soon. And my opinion is that Armin Laschet will be the candidate for the election in September. And so you don't think, Mr. Merz, Friedrich Merz, you don't think that he has um, any hopes here in you know, being some you know, last minute surprise in the decision making of who's going to be the chancellor candidate? No, I don't think so. The political party of the CDU and CSU together. We are not waiting for last-minute surprises. 
we are discussing that with um, the party, the whole party, the uh, leaders of the state and um, the, the executive board. So I think Friedrich Merz will play a very important role in the new government. But in the end, this decision mm. of uh, chancellery will be made um, in between Markus Söder and Armin Laschet. Well, we will certainly be watching closely to see what decision, what solution comes out of those meetings that are taking place. Mr. Patrick Zinsberg, member of the German parliament for the CDU, the Christian Democrat Party. Mr. Zinsberg, as always, we appreciate your time and your insights tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much.